I, I, no, 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 no. You want to sit with me? You want to sit with me? No, you can't touch that. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, Gigi be tripping. But, um, Gigi, 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 no, 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 no. Gigi, no, keep the rocks in the rocks. So when I first came to the gym, I used to come in the afternoon. And, um, but then I, I switched to mornings. So I switched to mornings, and I, first, the first time I came to the morning, I saw Mike in there. So I'm like, whoa, that's Mike. You know what I mean? But I didn't say nothing because I assumed that everywhere he goes, people are bothering him. So I'm like, you know, I ain't going to say nothing to you. So I saw him probably about four, four, about four more times. And then, he was, and then one day he just was like, what's up, TB? And I was like looking around like, I'm the only TB in here. You know what I mean? And so I was like, he's talking to me. Let me not be a creep. So I was like, what's up, Mike? And that was it. But then after that, I would, I would start to come in early, so I'd always see him. And so when he'd be in there by himself, like before everybody got there, listening to like smooth grooves, like slow music, like Lionel Richie, Teddy Pendergrass. You know these people? He's like, <laughs> Josh will know. But so he's listening to his old, like soulful music, right? And I like that kind of stuff, but not to lift weights to. So yeah, so, I, so when I come in early, it's all like this smooth music that I enjoy, but don't particularly like to lift to. And I think maybe that's why Mike kind of came early. Maybe I had something to do in the afternoon and didn't want to hear it. Because I remember one time when the, when the young music was on, he didn't really like it too much. So I think he wanted to come do his own thing. So it wasn't until about the fourth or fifth time that we actually spoke. So then let's fast forward to the game. It's 05 Rev and Brandon, not 09, because I was overseas fully over in 09. But, um, but so, so he wanted to play two on two for $10,000 which goes against everything I believe in. Because if I'm gonna put that kind of money down, I got, it's gotta be just me losing or me winning because you don't wanna have to blame somebody for a financial loss like that, in my mind. So he's like, let's play two on two for 10,000. I said, well, who do I get? He said, uh, you'll get so-and-so and I'll take Deja. And Deja can play, and he's 6'9". So 6'9 with 6'6", six, six, again, 6'1 six, and 6'4". And I don't even know this other guy is a terrible, pl terrible plan for me. So I'm like, you know what, Mike? I won't play two on two for 10,000, but I'll play you one on one for 10,000. And then Malcolm stopped the music. Malcolm was like, shout out to Malcolm too. He's like, what'd you say young fella? I was like, I was like, don't get me wrong. And there was some people in there. I was like, don't get me wrong. I said, Mike is the coldest player to ever do it. I got posters of him on my wall, but his old ass can't guard me. You said that? Yeah, that's what I said. And so everybody, so everybody's like, oh, going crazy. And then Mike didn't even look. Mike's on the, on the, uh, the pull downs, the lap pull downs. He didn't even look at me. And he was like, and I ain't like when you was young, you ain't gonna be turned, you can't turn the station on this ass whooping. And then everybody fell out. Everybody fell out. I was laughing too. I wasn't expecting that. You know what I mean? I was dying. And so after, after we all stopped laughing, I was like, I was like, listen, Mike, I said so something probably disrespectful. I can't remember what it was, but I said something like, I don't even know, man. I said, I just said something that like stirred the pot even more. And then Mike, and then Mike was done at that point. Mike was like, well, go downstairs and warm up. I said, man, take your old ass downstairs and warm up. I don't need to warm up. And it was funny because then I went and warmed up though. Cause I'm like, yo, this is 10,000. Let me go warm up. So we're walking down the stairs and, uh, and Rev was walking next to me and he said, man, you about to whoop the sleeves off Mike. I ain't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm zoning out. I'm trying to get ready. You know what I mean? But it was good. It was good to know that, that your trainer had that confidence. You know what I'm saying? So, so I, uh, so we walked down, and then Mike, uh, I, can't, I think Mike gave me the ball first. I really just think Mike thought I was a bum. You know what I mean? That's what I think. Like, he's Mike. Everyone's a bum to Mike in his mind. That's what I think. And, but kind of like Rev and Brandon said, like, like I don't think he um, – and you know what's funny, too? I was thinking about this. Like, everyone remembers that classic clip where Iverson was crossing Jordan, and he really couldn't do a whole lot about it. And this was back when Jordan was Jordan. And the crossover was one of my best moves. So in my mind, I've seen you play a million times. You know what I mean? But you have probably never seen me play ever. So, and the first thing to go, like when you stop hooping, is your defense. First thing to go. Even though he was in the gym every day. That's yeah, that's, that's the first thing to go is your defense. So, yeah, you, you can still shoot. You can still do whatever, dribble. You're still, still taller, bigger, longer arms, bigger hands. All the physical advantages. But... But I'm younger, so I can still play defense. You know what I mean? So I wasn't really worried about uh, the defensive part. And the defensive part wasn't even an issue in the game. Like, so game one, I probably, it didn't matter what I did, it was, it was working.
you know, Joshua, what, what Rev ain't telling you, you know what I'm saying, Rev was, and to me still is, you know, one of the premier trainers. Bryce so said he more. trained Kobe. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, yeah. from Kobe to, you know, the Mike to Antoine Walker, Mike Finn. I mean, like, just, we can go down the list, you know what I'm saying, of, of greats that he's, that he's trained. So yeah. for us to even be in the presence of him, Tim Grover, you know, he, these guys, like, we were very privileged, you know what I'm saying? It was an honor for us. Well, the first game, Troy beat him 11 to 4. And then the second mm -hmm. game, Troy had him, like, 10 to, I want to say about 10 to, 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. And Troy had a couple of uh, shots to win the game, but once Mike got that ball back, it was over. Yeah. So Mike took him in, he was too little. Mike took him on down in that paint and turned around and shot that fade away on him. And uh, Mike, wasn't gonna, Mike wasn't gonna let him go up 20,000. Mike wasn't letting him walk up out no. there. Yeah. No pick. All you can say was, mama, they go that man. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can say was, mama, they go that man. And it'd be, like you said, like Ray said, like he was just too, once Mike decided that, you know what I'm saying, and as I say, Mike is just very competitive, man. He ain't going to let you win at nothing, no matter who you are, let, not, let alone basketball. You know, it could be y'all take y'all car to the car wash and he going to bet he is going to get done first. I just remember, like, I, it was like like three moves I did. It was, it was either, it was crossover, hesitation, shooter drive, crossover left, Hesitation, shoot or drive. I'm watching his feet. So if his feet, if his feet go up, I drive. If his feet are back, I shoot. And I made like every single shot. Might have missed one here and there. Game one. Uh, it happened so fast. Like I just remember people's faces. Like everyone's just like, 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 I couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? It always looks different too when a shorter, smaller guy is beating a, a bigger guy. You know what I mean? So it was just, he was just dancing around. Like Mike was literally just dancing around, like shuffle, shuffle hand, shuffle, shuffle hand. It was bad. Like he couldn't do nothing with it. It was real, real bad. Like scraped Mike. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, he, he did beat him. <laughs> at the end of the day, he did beat him the first game. Like I saw, I said, he didn't stop moving. Troy was too shot. If it was off, Troy knew it was off and go follow his rebound. Like he, he just knew, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it was just. Constant, constant movement. And like I said, I don't think Mike was like really expecting that. You know what I'm saying? Or like, he just wasn't on that. Mm -hmm. But once he got him down in that, once he got him down in that paint, TB couldn't do nothing with him. Troy was yeah. in great shape. But at the end of the day, he called him out. He felt like he can beat him. Mm -hmm. But that day, Troy got the best of him. They were funny too. <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Was a uh, it was well, it was more of a, a comedic day for me than mm -hmm. anything. Like them so, two, and, and, and Mike gonna talk more stuff than anybody. He gonna talk more stuff mm -hmm. than anybody. You know, no matter who you are, he gonna talk, and he gonna talk with the best of them, and he gonna he gonna beat you in that too. So game's over. He says, "Running back real fast." I thought about it for a second, but but you know, as a hooper, because you hoop. There's, you know when someone ain't doesn't can't do nothing with you. You know, like you, you you win the game. Sometimes you win the game. You're like, wow, that was tough. Maybe I'm maybe I'm done for today. But that I I couldn't even say no because that's how easy it was. You know what I mean? I'm like, there's no way I'm not gonna win again. So kind of like Rev said, I'm up 10-4. We're playing the exact same game. It's 10-4. I'm about to win 20,000. Barely broke a sweat. You know what I mean? The thing is, Troy had a chance to to win the game. He actually missed two or three sh shot attempts to win that uh that second game, but uh, he missed them. And once Mike once Mike got the ball back, it's like you ain't getting this ball. Yeah, you ain't, get, you ain't getting this ball back. I mean, you know, some of the calls was iffy. Some of the calls wasn't uh wasn't legit, but. Every time he missed, he called a foul. Every single time. I don't remember getting the ball back. I think I might have got the ball back one more time because I remember one drive. I remember I, I remember I remember I had a drive and I remember I, I tricked the layup, just barely tricked it, which that would have been game, but I feel like he got the ball back and it was the same show. So like you gotta understand, bro, he was backing me down 
from the NBA three-point line. And I got the arm bar on him, so I'm pushing him back. He's backing me down. I'm pushing him back. I mean, this went on for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a long time. Like, it was a long game the second game was because of the backing down and the fouls and the this and the that. And then eventually, oh, and then I'm flipping out on Grove. Uh, Grove shout out to Grove. But I needed Grove to say something. You know what I mean? Like, who gets to call a foul every time they miss? I don't think I called a foul – in, in any of the games. You know what I mean? I'm not a big foul caller. But if you were legit get fouled, call the foul. But come on, man. This dude is calling a foul every time he missed. You know, Troy had the quickness. Troy had the speed. And Troy had the shimmy. He could have just shook him and got on around him and hit the shot. But he missed it. One of them rimmed right out. I was like, wow. <laughs> hey, I, hey I, I was shocked because I didn't expect for that first game to go left in the pole. Mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be much better than that, but Troy had an awesome jump shot. You know, Mike wasn't able to get up on him like, like he wanted to because if he did, Troy had the speed to go around him at that time. But it was a great game. It was a great game. But Mike was still Mike because Mike was still whooping people in the gym at that time. Mike was still going up one on I, I don't know if he was playing too much one on one, but five on five, Mike was still playing. Troy might have, Troy might have told Mike to stay in retirement. <laughs> oh, sound like gosh. some TB would say. Yeah, huh? that sound like some TB would say. Yeah, cause that, shoot, that sound like some he would say. They, Mike probably said, "Man, if, if dude just whooped on you and, and and you got me tired like this, hey boy, I bet I better I better stay where I'm at." <laughs> But I know for a fact, though, if he would have played like he played the first game, as far as just like just playing normal one-on-one basketball, then I got $20,000. He clearly jacked me. Jacked me. Like, it was crazy. Mike Mike knows. Mike knows that he – so let me see. 20000 That was 2005 with interest. So Mike owes me like 30, 33000 Mike, I want my money. Mike, you, know, you don't know where to find me, but find me. You know you owe me that money. No, but after after that, he um, we talked for a little while, and um, we went to his house. He invited us over to his house. We played uh, pickup basketball at his house. I think it was during – I can't remember, but we invited us over. He had a bunch of, like, people over there. R. Kelly was there. Say, say, say it to him. He said it to him. So he can look, <laughs> so look on the iPad like he did in the documentary and laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he can do that and he can laugh. Yeah. Send it to him because if, if, if you do, it would be very interesting to hear his thoughts out loud because me personally, I personally believe that that game with Troy Bell uh, made him realize that that uh, trying to go back to the lead is, is hard and difficult mm-hmm. yeah. at that age. I believe that he really uh, after playing Troy Bell, he really, you know, said, man, let me just play this game for pickup because he really was planning on whooping Troy. I, I, I remember one time when he, when he lost the game, he told me, he said, uh, don't show up in the gym tomorrow because I'm going to open up a can of whoop A on you. And I was like, wow. It's like, man. Man, well, for real, if you can't if you can't say it out, sing it out. <laughs> so I started singing to him. I said, Mike, we will go you know, A today. <laughs> hey, the next day he showed up and I don't know, he showed up with a vengeance because it was like, okay. So mm-hmm. I'm quite sure if you if you ask him and you show him, he might go out there and whoop Troy today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cause Troy Troy probably ain't in no shape to play. Mike probably can go out there and whoop Troy today at at, at fifty eight. I don't think he gonna want nobody out there saying that without no proof, no way. Yeah. <laughs> so he probably so, gonna, so, he probably so he gonna, gonna say that he gonna say, did y'all see it? And I'm like, no, nah, like it ain't happen. <laughs> it, it, it ain't happen. It ain't, ain't no footage on it. It ain't happen. <laughs> you know, like ain't ain't no footage or ain't nobody see it. <laughs> he gonna be like, 
he gonna be like, man, I just he going I know what he gonna say, man. I was just trying to uh, up his confidence. Dude had just whooped a real bad, so I let him win a game, and uh, hopefully that he want to double it nothing. Mike probably said double it nothing. Mike did say that. I'm to, no, Mike did say double nothing because you know good and dang well, Mike ain't losing no money. Mike ain't losing no bet. So there, there's no way that he was walking that Troy was walking up out of the ten racks. Never. And Mike knew <laughs> it. Mike knew it. Never. Mike knew it. You ain't walking out of that ten racks ever. So my thing was, after that happened, Mike said, "Yeah, run it back then." And he knew he wasn't losing that game. So after that game he won, he walked out of the sky free like I'm good. I tell you what, thing he ain't want no third one. You see, he didn't try to get a third. He wasn't trying to win no money. He was good. <laughs> he was good. He just wasn't. He wasn't finna give up no bread. At the end of the day, he didn't want no third one. At the end of the day, he said enough is enough because because Troy had gave him all he wanted. He wasn't giving up no bread either. You can forget that. <laughs> okay, how much he have? I has. He ain't giving that up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can forget it. Hey, OB, listen. Josh just sent me your video. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here weak. I'm super weak. Listen, if if this guy's name was Chip Walters instead of Michael Jordan, maybe you would be telling the story properly. <sighs> Where do I start? Um, the, the dude called a million files. I called zero files. Um, I was up 10-4 again, just like I was the previous game, which is why I ran it back, because as a hooper, you know when you could whoop somebody, and I was whooping them again. Grove and them, Malcolm, everybody was sitting there looking like they saw a ghost while he's calling all these files. You remember I'm flipping out like, yo, do something, say something. He Every time he missed a shot, he called a foul until he inched his way back into the game and won the game. If this would have been in a playground, you would, I would have either quit or we would have fought over a $10,000 game. There's no way anybody's going to sit there and let somebody cheat him like that. You know what I mean? But whatever it is what it is your commentary was funny and that alone is enough you feel me so oh shout out to everybody that made that summer memorable all the players um all the bda staff uh kb jamar uh cold grubs duff rade everybody came through uh rev grove by bruce malcolm mike procopio came through Everybody, I know I'm missing a lot of people because it was a long, uh, long summer, but appreciate all you guys. And uh, yeah, Brandon, your memory is getting shaky in our old age, but I appreciate y'all for, for uh, comment on the story because it was super funny.